And believe it or not, even if you touch them, the mothers still come back. If you don't do this, they fall off the roof. They die about half the time. They don't make it to the front ponds. There's the brand new beach area in there that's doing great. Easy entry. Behind the waterfalls. <laughs> so this is what happens when you have days of rain. The fish have jumped the waterfalls and they are now swimming in the pump vault area. We're gonna have to try to catch them and put them back into the pond. <laughs> 12 years ago, Ed Ballou stood right there and told everybody what he was gonna create. We basically have a mess. <laughs> and today, he did it. This is the signature recreation pond at Aquascape. It is absolutely my favorite thing about this building is pulling in and seeing this every single day. There's the brand new beach area in there that's doing great, easy entry. You can see the fish from up here. It's just beautiful. What's so funny is the fish always hang out in this area even though they have this entire expansive area to get into because this is where they, this is where they get fed. And as soon as I walk out onto my patio there right outside my office, the fish come swimming from everywhere that they're at, but they love hanging out right in this area. It's a primary area. They're loving the beach area too. You can see the fish. They also love the current. The fish on the big recreation pond side love to swim against the current, and the fish on the water lily side love to swim, you know, into the waterfalls. They come at it from both angles right there. But this is the whole lily pond side over here, and in the summer, this is just filled with beautiful lilies. And you just see how natural the wetland filtration looks. I mean, we've got, you know, literally trees growing right into the wetlands. You can see the knees of the cypress coming up here. Just absolutely natural the way it should be. You can see the water flowing. A little bit of string algae out there, which is normal and healthy. You don't want it too much. That's why we have the iron gen for stuff like that. I never really get much string algae in the pond because the fish eat it. You can see the irises are coming up right here. There's the top of the snorkel. So this is what we cleaned out when we did our clean out. Just literally pop that off, drop a clean out pump in there, and then wash this uh, gravel down. Once a year we do that. And this is kind of a, a cool story. My teammates last year planted this for me and surprised uh, me with this. This is a Buckeye tree for my old dog Buckeye. There he is right there and he's buried right here, his ashes. By Buckeye that was, uh, some people called him an industry icon. He would absolutely love just to sit out on the porch and come here every single day. Just look at how nice and natural this entire front pond looks. And the whole waterfalls, that pipe runs. We had a couple hundred people putting that pipe in right along in here. And so that water just flows from the two, the big waterfalls over there and this one back in here. And then all the water, it's about six inches drop between this pond and that pond just because of that choke point right there and there's 60,000 gallons of water per hour flowing through this area. You can see the two pumps right there, one for the waterfalls, one for all the jets. The water's a little low, believe it or not. Just over about 10 days ago, this was completely flooded out. We had water coming all the way up to the, to the driveway. I've never seen it that flooded and the fish were actually coming over because they were spawning at the same time. So, so this is what happens when you have days of rain. The fish have jumped the waterfalls, normally about a four foot waterfall, and they are now swimming in the pump vault area. We're gonna have to try to catch them and put them back into the pond. Underneath here is all of the aqua blocks, uh, and this is about 30,000 gallons of storage that we have underground just with the aqua blocks that we have in here. They're so deep down there. Here's the, the jet systems. Pump sits right down here and this feeds some of the jets. And once again, once this gets filled with the irises and everything else, this just kind of disappears. It's kind of disappears from view. And you can kind of see over here, we're kind of changing this area out right now. Our aquatic plant area used to be the aquatic plants and the fish, but we moved the fish to uh, the indoors, which is the Greg's Turtle Topia and the Japanese Koi Pond area. And then we also have the fish retailing area. And we're gonna figure out, I'm gonna walk over there. So this area right here used to be where we kept all of our fish. 
but we're gonna convert it. We're gonna probably put a patio down in here. It's never done, right? And we're gonna put furniture down here. We'll have a nice uh, sunscreen. We'll still have the aquatic plants over there, but eventually I wanna get a deck that will go out where people could actually go in and go amongst the water lilies because when this thing is filled, it is just filled with beautiful blooming water lilies right here in the front. I got some furniture out here right now for guests, but really it's just the aquatic plant area right now. This is the view that all of the visitors get to see as they pull into Aqualand. And uh, for me, it was a really proud moment when we got to fire this thing up. Um, you know, it was really designed by Ed Ballou and executed by all of our certified Aquascape contractors that came, you know, 300 people here from all over North America primarily at the time, 12 years ago now in 2008 when we did this. Before that, this was just grass. It was just a retention area filled with grass and now it's what you see today. It was pretty amazing. You know what's amazing is this is the back of that berm and it's just so filled in with all the plants. You know, we got that beautiful limestone and moss rock that we get from Missouri, from the Ozarks, from Semco Stone. Uh, but just look at how full the trees have become back here. And it just, it doesn't look like Illinois because none of these uh, rocks are from Illinois. And the, just the way it's just landscaped and the plants, even though it's just the a back of a retaining wall, I just think it's absolutely beautiful when people ride around and they see this when they pull in. That's where people come in, enter our building, and this just draws visitors up. Beautiful waterfalls. Those two rocks right there were 47,000 pounds and 36,000 pounds respectively. Two giant caterpillar excavators placed those two rocks right there. This is one of my favorite aspects of this. Such a unique area. Look at how cool this was created by the CACs that just made this incredible entrance to the only grotto in the county. It's just such a neat and unique thing. You can feel the temperature drop as you walk back in here. Behind the waterfalls. <laughs> Every one of these rocks was put in by the CACs by hand. Foamed in the back and not one of them has moved one inch in 12 years. We've got water dripping down from above and in the winter time, this gets up to a foot of ice in here and it just becomes Narnia in this area. We got lights up here that light it up at night. It's supposed to look like a, like a mine shaft. We beat up these logs and put them in there. So unique, so cool. I've caught a lot of kids in here at night. <laughs> when I come back here real late at night and I see kids in, you know, swimming or something like that, I'm like, you know what? When I was a kid, I did the same thing. It's just so fun. And then here's the new beach area, and I love it because just today we were out here with the surfboard, the footballs, the masks, and the kids were swimming, and that's exactly what they should be doing. This is so nice to just walk right in and be able to enter the water right here. Then the fish come right up to you. And this is my office. Big Ohio State fan, as you can see. This never gets old for me. This is my view. All right, let's go. Let's go get him. Come on. <laughs> when you have this kind of bio load from geese, you better have some good filtration. And that is called group parenting right there. Man, how many babies are there? There's a lot. And the funny thing is, they were born on the roof. Let's go, we gotta save the babies. This is our annual go to the Aquascape roof and save the babies. We're here to help, we're here to help, it's okay. Yeah, and believe it or not, even if you touch them, the mothers still come back. If we don't do this, there's a 50-50 chance when they fall off the roof, they won't go. All right, nephew, take those down, be careful. Oh, um, no, they're so upset. If we don't do this, they fall off the roof and they die about half the time. They don't make it to the front pile. Okay, we're taking these back down. Hopefully they'll get the call to their moms like they normally do and they will come down. And if they don't, a lot of times they also get adopted by other geese. Every year, more and more geese are born on the roof and every year we go up there and catch them and bring them down because they have no way to get down from all the way up there to the front pond. The fish. <laughs> They love to come up and just hang out right up here. But the kids love swimming in here. I love it when kids jump off of that rock. Heck, I love it when I jump off of that rock. So this is 10 and a half feet deep. This is 600,000 gallons 
between the two ponds. The majority of the water is over on this side. People driving by always look over and go, what is that building with the green roof and this giant pond in front of it? They're always welcome to come in and check it out. In about another half hour, the lights will be on at night. It's just spectacular. And I owe it all to my customers and to my teammates. And I love the new beach area over there. In another 12 years, maybe I'll be out here with my grandkids cleaning this out. <laughs> you know what? I'll just sit right here, enjoy living the aquascape lifestyle a little bit more. I love to always say I love my job and it's truly because I love my job. What I really love, helping people live the aquascape lifestyle. Seeing contractors who are building their lifestyles around creating lifestyles for others. It's just a fantastic hobby that I was able to turn into my profession. I want to get more people involved in this beautiful hobby, more people involved in this profession to be able to literally get into your work, be able to swim. It's just a fantastic feeling. I'm so proud of my team. I'm so happy with all my certified Aquascape contractors, the people that gave back to Aquascape by coming out and creating something like that. There goes a contractor right there. I just love my community. Literally, St. Charles is the water garden capital of the world. We're open for you to come and explore. If you want to come out and see what living the Aquascape lifestyle is all about, come out and check out our recreation pond. If I'm here, bring your bathing suit and I'll swim with you. I love my job. If you're interested in finding a certified Aquascape contractor by you to help you live the Aquascape lifestyle, check out the link below. I love Love my job.